Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about two great tripods for shooting videos and taking photos. This is the Gorillapod 3K Pro and this is the Manfrotto Pixi Evo. And I will share a bonus tripod hack when shooting with your smartphone. We will be covering the different situations where you might want to use one or another tripod. And I will be talking about which one you should go with depending on your needs. Hi, I'm Alex and here we have two tripods that help me immensely in producing videos for this channel and my other channels. These are absolutely essential in my camera bag depending on what I'm trying to do. And if I don't have a plan, I look at the location, whether it's indoors, or whether it's outdoors, to decide which one to take on my shoot. Each have their own specific reason to be in my bag. So stick around because I'll be covering the different situations where one tripod be better than the other. Coming up, a side-by-side -side spec comparison and share my favorite tripod hack when I'm filming with a smartphone. So stay tuned for that. But first, like this video and comment down below which tripod do you take on your shoot and what would you like me to review next? Right. Let's take a closer look at the specs of both the Gorilla Pod, this guy, and the Manfrotto Pixie Evo. And let's see how they compare against each other, how they stack up side by side. So the Gorilla Pod is, is a YouTuber's must, right? This, this guy is, you know, you've seen the biggest channels on YouTube using this little fella. But I noticed a few other big channels have opted to use the Manfrotto. In terms of usage, they both seem to do the trick for vlogging, or shooting content in general. The Gorillapod 3K Pro is not the lightest and weighs 275 grams without the ball head and 445 grams with the ball head. The Manfrotto weighs 270 grams without the ball head. He does not need, he does not need a ball head. My go-to gear is, is a Canon 90D, which is the one I'm using to film this video with a 10 to 18 mil lens. That's my go-to lens because I can go wide and do landscape or do portrait. Uh, with the Gorilla Pod, that gear, with a bit of, a, with the microphone as well, it weighs at 1.5 kilo, so just over one, one kilo and a half. And with a Manfrotto, the total weight is 1.3 kilos. So 212 grams to be exact, lighter than the Gorilla Pod. So this guy is a lot lighter with all my with all my gear so let's talk about the weight they can hold because this for me is the important bit the gorilla pod supports up to three kilos officially the manfrotto only supports two and a half kilos now my gear is nowhere near that it's about a kilo under that it shows that this guy really can't hold a lot anything too heavy so this one could be a deal breaker for you if your camera and lenses are quite bulky so if you're trying to use a 70 to 200, for example, there's no way this guy's gonna hold it. So the bottom line when it comes to weight support is that with my setup, both are really well under the advertised weight support, but in practice, what does that look like? On a flat surface, without tilting the camera, both tripods performed really well. Sadly, with the Manfrotto, the weight of my gear, which is about 1.5 kilos, was too much when trying to tilt the camera for a portrait shot. As you can see, the Gorilla Pod has more flexibility and is much more stable when tilting the camera. Because of the flexible legs, you can really just twist it around almost anything you like. Here you can see I attached it to my garden parasol and also to a tree.
but the Manfrotto, when used on rough surfaces and without using a heavy camera setup like I was doing, is pretty sturdy and it feels quite high quality actually. Because the Gorilla Pod has this really nice rubberized foot grip here and a much stronger adjustment, you really have to try to to, to open these legs and, and adjust it to your to your liking. It stays put wherever you, you want it. It stays on the grass, it stays on, on flat surfaces, on desks, glass tables, anything. It will not buckle. The Manfrotto does have some rubber on the foot, but <laughs> it may as well not be there. It's, it's, it's tiny and it's not, not really, up, you know, it's just open its legs really easily. And I'll stop there. These rubberized rings on the Gorilla Pod give you a really nice grip when holding the camera in sort of vlog mode or trying to get a stable shot anywhere. You can really grip, you know, grip them and, and they, won't, they won't slide around. They're really good, quite sturdy as well, as I said. So, you know, if you're trying to get a stable shot, you know, this, this guy is, is really good for that. According to Joby, these are medical grade ABS plastic. Now, Sounds really fancy, right? Well, it's just it's just a very hard plastic, extremely dense, right? And think Lego plastic. So have you ever stepped on Lego? Yeah, it's that hard. I think they should have used Lego hard. Maybe that would have been better than medical grade ABS. BS or not, these are really sturdy and will stay up with a considerable uh, weight on it. What about pricing? Let's take a look at that. The Manfrotto Mini is £39 in the UK right now, almost July 2020. The Gorilla Pod 3K Pro with the ball head kit is £79.95 and you do need the ball head as well. So it's double the money to achieve the same as this guy. Now, with everything that, that we said about the stability and then you know the, the limitations around what you can do with this, may, may be the deal breaker for you, um, the, the cost the cost element. For me, I think there's there's space for both, uh, depending on what you're trying to do. But it's um, is worth considering if if what you're trying to do is stable shots on a on a kind of surface that you don't need to attach to a tree or do anything too crazy with it. Maybe go for this before you go with the, with the Gorilla Pod. If you want the flexibility on the road, attaching to lamp posts and things like that, then the Gorilla Pod might be the best choice for you. All right. And here's the bonus hack that I mentioned. Sometimes you don't have a camera bag with you and you don't want to be carrying a lot of stuff around. All you want to do is create a short video on the go or take a quick snapshot of something. So rather than relying on a camera all the time, you can use this little clamp, which is by Manfrotto. And you can either use it with one of the tripods we talked about today or, or even use the clamp by itself. I'll show you quickly. It has this, this mini stand on, on the back that you can use to set up on a table or put it on the ground. You can move it around the phone as well so that you can do either portrait or landscape. Um, and that's sometimes, that's all you need to be honest. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Tell the lovely people at YouTube that you enjoy this by giving this video a thumbs up. And as always, I appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you next week.